to lower ping and fix packet loss for gaming, you can use advanced network optimization techniques similar to what a skilled hacker might use to ensure smooth connections. Here are some easy steps to follow. Optimize network settings using command prompt. Type CMD in the search bar and run command prompt as an administrator. Tweak TCP and IP settings. Type NESH. This is a Windows command line tool for configuring network settings. INT TCP refers to Internet Protocol and Transport Layer Protocol configuration. Set Global specifies that you are making a global configuration change that applies to all network interfaces. Auto tuning level disabled disables TCP auto tuning. This command modifies the behavior of the transmission control protocol, specifically by disabling the receive window auto tuning feature. Now type NESH INT TCP set global RSS enabled. This enables receive side scaling. Enabling RSS improves network performance by spreading the process of network traffic across multiple CPU cores. This is especially beneficial for systems with high network traffic loops or systems with multiple network adapters as it helps prevent a single CPU core from becoming a bottleneck. Change DNS server. A fast DNS can resolve web addresses quicker, improving latency. Type NESH interface IP, which refers to network interface IP settings. Set DNS modifies the DNS server configuration. Name Wi-Fi specifies the network interface to be configured. In this case, the Wi-Fi connection. This must match the exact name of the network adapter in your system. Replace Wi-Fi with the name of your network adapter. Static. Static sets the DNS server address manually rather than using the default dynamic DNS settings provided by the Internet Service Provider or DHCP. 1111 is the DNS server we want to use. In this case, Cloudflare's public DNS server. Cloudflare provides faster query response times than most ISPs default DNS server. Type NESH interface IP add DNS. This adds a new DNS server to the list of DNS servers for a specific network adapter. Replace Wi-Fi with the name of your network adapter. 1001 is the DNS server we are adding. This is Cloudflare's secondary public DNS server. Index 2 sets the priority of the DNS server. An index of 1 indicates the primary DNS server and an index of 2 makes it the secondary DNS server. This command adds a secondary DNS server for the connection. If your primary DNS server becomes unreachable, your system will quickly switch to the secondary one, maintaining uninterrupted internet connectivity. These commands changes your DNS to Cloudflare, which is one of the fastest DNS servers. Disable network throttling. Windows sometimes throttles network performance for background tasks, which can increase pain. Press Windows plus R. Type regedit and press enter. Navigate to HK Local Machine System Current Control Set Services TCP IP Parameters Interfaces Identify your network adapter under interfaces, you will see several subkeys that represent different network adapters. Look through them to find the one associated with your active network connection. You can usually identify it by looking at the DHCP IP address value or something similar, which will match your active IP address. Create a new keyword value. Right click in the right pane of the selected key and select new keyword 32 bit value. Name the new keyword network throttling index. Set the value to disable throttling. Double click on the network throttling index entry you just created. Set the value to S S S S S S S S. This is hexadecimal and press OK to save the changes. Setting the network throttling index to this value disables the built-in network throttling feature, allowing your network adapter to operate at full capacity without being limited by Windows throttling mechanism. Restart your system for the changes to take effect.
open command prompt once again as an administrator. Monitor network for packet loss. Identifying sources of packet loss helps in diagnosing network issues. Run the following command. Ping. This command sends internet control message protocol echo request to the target server to check if it is reachable and how long it takes for a packet to travel there and back. Replace game server IP with the actual IP address or host name of the game server you are testing. For example, you could ping a server in an online multiplayer game to check the latest. T flag makes the ping command and run indefinitely, continuously sending requests until manually stopped. Press Ctrl plus C to typically stop the request. This command shows the time it takes for a packet to travel to the server and back, measured in milliseconds. This is called the round trip. If some packets fail to reach the server, this indicates packet loss, which could cause lag or connection instability during gaming. Adjust router settings. The maximum transmission unit settings controls the largest packet size sent over the network. Optimizing this value can reduce fragmentation and packet loss. Find the optimal MTU size by running ping www.google.com FL1472 The 100% packet loss indicates that the packet size I am trying to send, 1472 bytes, is too large to be transmitted without fragmentation. So I will decrease packet sizes to find the largest packet size that can be transmitted without fragmentation. For example, 1464. Now keep lowering the packet size until you get a successful response. Success, it worked, meaning that my network can handle packets of 1400 bytes without fragmentation. 1400 bytes is the largest data payload I can send without fragmentation. To calculate the maximum transmission unit, you need to add the overhead of 28 bytes to the payload size. The packet size we used plus 28 bytes. This MTU value reflects the maximum packet size my network supports without fragmentation. If you encounter network issues such as high latency or packet loss, reducing your MTU in your router or device settings to this value will improve stability. Tweak Windows Network Adapter Settings. Advanced adapter settings can improve throughput and reduce latency. Open Device Manager. Right click on the Windows logo and click Device Manager. Find your network adapter under Network Adapters. Right click and go to Properties. Advanced tab. Change the following settings. Receive buffers. Increase this to the maximum. By increasing this buffer, you allow the adapter to hold more data, which can be especially useful during periods of high network activity. Transmit buffers. Increase this to the maximum. Transmit buffers control the amount of data queued for sending from the computer to the network. By increasing this buffer size, you allow more data to be transmitted without waiting for the network to acknowledge receipt of previous sent packets. Interrupt moderation. Disable it. Interrupt moderation is designed to reduce the number of interrupts sent to the CPU by combining multiple network events into a single interrupt. While this can be beneficial for general performance, it can introduce latest as packets might be delayed waiting for the next interrupt to process energy efficient ethernet disable it especially if you game in on a desktop it ensures that the network adapter is always ready to transmit and receive data at its full capacity this leads to more consistent performance as the adapter will not experience delays related to power saving features for users who require stable and immediate network responses such as gamers disable large send offload ipv4 and large send offload ipv6 large send offload allows the network adapter to handle large data packets, which can help with throughput. However, it can introduce latency when these packets are offloaded to the network card for processing. Disabling LSO may allow the CPU to manage packet processing directly, leading to quicker responses and reduced delays in data transmission, which is crucial during fast-paced online gaming. Use Windows Group Policy Editor to prioritize gaming. Prioritizing gaming traffic using quality of service policies in Windows can help reduce latency and improve the overall gaming experience by ensuring that game data gets the necessary bandwidth over an other network traffic. Open Boot Policy Editor. Press Windows plus R to open the RAM dialog box. Type GP Edit. 
qosets.msc and press enter. Navigate to QoS settings. In the group policy editor, go to computer configuration, Windows settings, policy based QoS. Create a new policy. Right click on the policy based QoS and select create new policy. Set application name. Specify the executable name of your game. This identifies the application for which the QoS policy will apply. Set the DSCP value. Enter 46. This value is typically used for low latency, prioritizing the game over other applications. Follow the remaining prompts to finish creating the policy. Select the option to enable QoS policy apply. specifying the source and destination IP addresses, the default settings is fine. The default settings is also fine for the protocol and port numbers. By applying this QoS policy, the gaming traffic will be prioritized over other network processes, potentially needing to reduce lag and a smoother gaming experience. Adjust PC power and processor settings for performance. Adjusting your power settings ensures that your system operates at maximum capacity. Open power options. Press Windows plus R to open the RAM dialog. Type control panel and hit enter. In the control panel, navigate to power options. In the power options window, you will see different power plans. Select high performance. Adjust processor power management. Click on change plan settings next to the high performance option. Click on change advanced power settings. In the new window, expand processor power management. Set minimum processor state to 100%. Click OK to save your changes. These adjustments will ensure that your system runs at its maximum capacity, reducing latency and providing better overall performance for demanding applications.